Alrighty, good morning folks, welcome back to the channel, Keith here from Commando Hoops. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please do like and subscribe. Before we get into the video talking about Ange and potential candidates, I do want to apologise about the sound in the background. I'm in a park recording this of all places, because I'm not going to record in my mate's house, me shouting. So, um, back in Dublin for a couple of days, what a weekend we had within the treble, world record, treble winners now at this rate. Congratulations to Ange, the team, congratulations to the fans. I was in Glasgow Green and then I went to the pub for it. So um what a weekend. It's great. It's great being a Celtic fan. This morning obviously the rumours are getting stronger and stronger. And the source that has broke the rumours today is for Abisha Romero, one of the best journalists around. Very good with transfer speculation, very good with managerial changes. 80% of the stuff he tweets is on the button, so I'm going to talk about this. 8 o'clock this morning he tweeted basically saying Spurs, Celtic and Ange are coming to agreement that Ange is going to become the next Spurs manager. Now Ange is on a rolling contract. He's, he's in his rights to leave the club if he wants and pursue his career somewhere else in the English Premier League or overseas. At the end of the day, this man came in on a rolling contract. Got us the League Cup before Christmas when he came in. He, obviously it was a poor start to the season turned it around and won the league a lot of people doubt him I was one of them and to win the league was phenomenal in the fourth season get the Champions League group stages was even better and going on to win a treble just shows that he really had everybody on board some of the fans are really upset and devastated he's moving on look at no man no players bigger than Glasgow Celtic his attachment to the fans is as good as Martin O'Neill's days and you can't fault that and he came in and he delivered the goods once a man comes in and does the goods and wins people over let the man go some fans are being absolutely bitter about it and i can understand that they're looking at saying why spores this is a team that finished out of european places in english football they can't keep managers they've got rid of the likes of pochettino Mourinho, conte why would he go there and ruin his career to be honest with you Maybe Spurs need that shake-up, maybe Spurs need that rebuild. He's, reportedly the deal is meant to be a two-year deal. That he's going to be there until 2026 with an option to extend. Now Ange is obviously 57 years of age. Will he go there and make a stamp in English football? Time will tell. You're always five defeats away from getting a sack in English football. And we're obviously seeing it with um, De Santos. He went there, you know, De Santos spare whatever his name was the Wolves manager he went there didn't work out from God boot after 12 games I think there's a lot of talk of Kyogo going there 20 to 30 million all paper talk I don't know if Kyogo will go there is this the is this the last days of the J League players that come to Celtic because Ange is moving on I don't know because looking at the Bundesliga they obviously recruit from Germany the Premier League is starting to recruit from Germany, so I can't really see the Japanese players moving on anytime soon. The likes of Atate, Maeda, even Koyogo. I think Koyogo is starting to love Celtic, so I can't see him moving on. Is the talks of Gavin Strachan and John Kendi going with him as well as the backroom staff? If it happens, it happens. Every club goes through a rebuild, a managerial shake up over a couple of seasons. Now, the favour that's meant to be coming back in is Brendan Rodgers. Now, if Brendan Rodgers comes back in, he's obviously won seven trophies at the club. A lot of fans still don't like the thoughts of Rodgers come back in. We've raised the bar to Ange and doing trebles. There's no point of going for a Neil Lennon. I have no disrespect to Martin O'Neill. I love Martin O'Neill. Some great times. I think Martin O'Neill's philosophy of football and the way the landscape has changed is not worth it. It's not worth going for Martin O'Neill. I know there's talks of Jess Marsh, the former US and Leeds manager. I don't want him near the club. He obviously leaves and went down. I know Rogers was a part of Leicester's team and they went down. But Rogers knows the club. I think he has unfinished business. He's been staying in Glasgow over the last couple of weeks. There's reports that he's already purchased a house. I don't know how accurate that is. But um I take Rogers back. Even though he did leave in a leave in a bad way. You know, it was like now or never. We were offered nine million and he went and I know to some Celtic fans that are listening to me saying this like well he should have stayed and done treble treble if a club's getting offered 9 million for him and his coaching staff to go and we had someone already to come in and sail the ship which Lennon did we got on with it and I think we need to get on and forget forget about the past I think we need to move on from this because if he comes in winning Champions League football that 
writes off all the qualification stages. We can go and do our pre-season tour around Asia, get a few pre-season games in, sh shuffle up the team, get rid of the dead wood. Barkas is gone, hopefully Yeti gone and Sorrow and these players and McCarthy as well. Bring in new players, bring in new players. We already have a good crop of players there that's won trebles and I think we need to add to it. I'll back Brendan. I think if it's not Brendan, if it's someone else, I'll still back. At the end of the day, we're moving forward as a club. And I think Andrew's at the leaving a good culture, a good legacy for what he's done the last two years. I think fans, I think it's very, you know, premature of fans to call him saying, I oh, kissed the badge, he doesn't have a clue. It's a business. He's not, he didn't grow up as a Celtic fan. He came in, a rolling contract, fulfilled these two years, and that was it and I wish him the best. I know Spurs is not the best location. I would have liked to see him hold off for another season, went to Liverpool, took over from Klopp, but that wasn't meant to be. And if he can go there and win over the fans and get results and put Spurs the way they meant to be in the top four, it's a job done for him. So um, I wish him the very best. I think he's been phenomenal. You know, he's been outstanding with the media. I think he's been outstanding with the players. Very professional, the way he speaks, the way he's brought philosophy to football, the way the culture has been brought as well. So um, that's all I want to say. So it looks like he's going to be going there to 2026. Probably in the next couple of days, we're going to see the change. So let me know in the comments who do you want. Do you want Brendan back or not? Speeches all soon. Hell, hell.